Hi, I'm uh, Tobin. And I'm Sven. And we are Rikisar. Although the album is called The Inevitable End, it doesn't mean that it's the end of, of Rikisar. It's just the conventional or traditional album format that we're parting with. We feel that we've been able to say the things that we want to say and do the things we want to do within the limitations that the album format gives. I might have to eat my words, but it's probably going to result in uh, more music from us because there will be less gaps between the releases. Well, on the subject of using our music in ads, we felt, at least around the release of Melody AM, at that time we were two unknown Norwegian fellows making mainly instrumental electronic music without a major label in the back. We thought that getting our music on ads that we felt were artistically justified was a clever and good way of getting our music known. We, we tend to travel quite a lot and <laughs> we've been able to, to, to see the world and so far neither Tulber nor me have been able to find anywhere that we find is a better match for us than being back in good old Norway. I'm going out on a limb here, but to, to move is a bad move. And this sounds a bit sort of harsh, but it's the truth. People I've seen move to, for instance, the States or to Berlin have ended up making more generic stuff as a result of that. So it's much better to stay where you feel that you sort of belong in a sense and that you've, where you've found your own strength. Some of the people that are followers of our music have been into us since Melody AM. We've always tried to have this array of expressions. We can still do albums like Senior, where there's tracks that attract a different type of listeners. And I think it's fair to say that when we play concerts, we see that the crowd attending, it's very diverse as well. So, uh, yeah, we seem to be a sort of an all-rounder. But mainly 65-year-old white males that are into blues music and leather vests. <laughs>